Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Hallelujah and greetings in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. This is another beautiful day that the Lord has given to us. As we begin this new week, I trust that God is going to speak to you the way you've spoken to me. I want to begin with us on a series, God's Dream for Your Life. And I'm praying that God will bless you. I'll be zeroing around the book of Romans chapter 12, and I'll be looking at certain things about God's dream for your life. As part of my introduction, you'll agree with me that parents have dreams for their children. Our kids can be the source of our greatest joys or our deepest pains. And our Heavenly Father has a dream for every one of His children this morning. God's dream, listen to me, child of God, is to make you His son or daughter. God's dream for every child of His is to become a disciple, a Roman 12 Christian. And I want to read the book of Romans chapter 12 verses 1. That is the portion of the scripture I'll be looking at this morning. Then I'm going to pray together with you. We are going to look at five key relationships from the Roman 12 biblical response. And I'm praying that these five key relations will help you in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 12. And verses number one, the Bible says, and I'm living, reading from the New Living Translation. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and a holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is true, the way to worship him. Praise the Lord. I want to speak to you briefly about relationship with God. There is no way you can relate with God if you are not ready to surrender to God. And from the scripture we have just read, Romans chapter 12 and verses number 1, we see the man of God, Paul, urging us, brothers and sisters, in the view of God's mercy, that we should offer our bodies as living sacrifice. Every time you think about your body, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body is the house of prayer. Your body is what God cherish more. And the man of God is saying, in the view of God's mercy, in other words, as we look at the eyes of God, we need to offer our bodies as living sacrifices. Not just sacrifice, but sacrifices. In other words, every part of our body should be given to God. Holy and pleasing to God. I challenge you this morning in the name of Jesus that if there's anything you can do is to give, is to offer, is to present your bodies as living sacrifices, your bodies as holy, your bodies as pleasing to God. And why should we do this? The Bible says this is your spiritual act of worship. If you want to be true in your spirituality, you must offer your bodies as living sacrifices, as holy and pleasing to God, because this is the only way God can bless you. And this morning, I challenge you in Jesus' name, as you go to your place of work, as you do your daily daily business. Remember that God is calling us into relationship. God is calling us to surrender to Him. And as you surrender to God, your life will be blessed. Allow me to pray with you even as you go to your place of work. But remember this one thing. God's dream for your life is that you may surrender to Him. 
you may give all to him because he has good plans for you even this particular morning in Jesus' name. Allow me to pray in the name of the Lord. Father God, we thank you. Through your word, you are calling us to relationship to you. Relationship with you. Father, we surrender everything to you this morning. We surrender our ambition, our desires, our fears, oh God, to you. And I pray in Jesus' name, the Lord, your blessing, my listeners, this morning, wherever they are, oh God, your word is touching them. In the name of the Lord, cause us to see you and to experience you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pray, and the people of God say, Amen and Amen. God bless you. Let's connect again tomorrow in the morning as we listen from the Lord. Bye-bye. Let's meet again tomorrow in the morning. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.